Welcome to the ProCom Podcast, hosted by Paul Vogels, with expert guest interviews, case study reviews, and insightful discussion topics. The ProCom Podcast leads the project controls conversation. Welcome, everybody. My name is uh, Paul Vogels, and I'm the host of the ProCom Podcast. I'm having uh, Chef Van Vught uh, at my left side as a guest, and my uh, other colleague, uh, Mark Schenk, uh, uh, as a guest. I will uh, introduce them uh, later, or they will introduce them themselves. Uh, first, let us uh, open the first real podcast of the ProCam podcast. My name is Paul Vogels. Um, I'm the host of the podcast, as mentioned, and uh, um, uh, let me sh- tell you something about myself. Uh, I did a business administration, uh, education, and then informatics. I actually started with informatics, so uh, I'm a programmer uh, from uh, from education, but uh, um, I, it's not just about tools, uh, the same as in project control. It wasn't that much fun to uh, just be uh, busy with the IT, uh, also talk with people, talk with the processes, or be uh, be working on the, on the processes. Um, I'm a real Xennial, I'm born in 82, so I'm uh, old enough to know how a floppy disk uh, works and uh, looks like, uh, but I'm also young enough to have uh, Spotify on my uh, on my iPhone, for example. On my left side, I have an even younger guy, uh, Chef Van Vught. Uh, welcome, uh, Chef, on the show. Thank you, Paul, for having me. Yeah. Can you uh, introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, yes, of course. Us? I'm uh, Chef Van Vught. Um, I'm a key account manager at PrimaNet, and um, together with you and Mark, uh, we are uh, working on the on the... I'm working on the commercial side of uh, our business, and uh, of course, uh, I, uh, I I was really uh, really uh, happy with uh, doing this podcast because I really think it's uh, it's a cool thing uh, which we can use uh, nowadays. Um, well, I have a degree in, in business and administration, uh, focused on marketing and communication, and um, I'm working at PrimaNet now for five years, um, getting. Uh, and known with the world of project controls, and uh, I must say it has been a really, really cool five years, seeing really great projects and uh, and, and the involvement uh, and and the things that are are going on in a project, the dynamics. I really, I really like it. Yeah. And, and what do you expect from the from the show uh, the next uh, couple of uh, months or years or uh, decennia? Well, I, let's hope that we can do a lot of podcasts, but because I think it's it's a a cool way to to share our knowledge on project uh, controls, um, to get uh, the, to share the stories of our clients, uh, share stories of, of of our events that we are doing. Uh, we are on a lot of events like a project controls expo. I think we can come up with great stories uh, and 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 um, yeah, like I, I told before, you have these uh, programs on on TV like Mega Structures on 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 uh, Discovery, which show the the actual physical project was happening, um, uh, uh, what what the people are doing that are, are on the foreground of a project, but as we know behind the scenes there's even more dynamics going on, and I think that's the idea of sharing um, um, what people are doing uh, behind the scenes on a project. So every every bolt and nut that is that is. Uh, used on a project is thought about has influence on on the next bolt and nut and how these things um, 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 uh, impact the whole project if for instance some some delivery are, are late which are only a day late it can can influence the project for two or three days because uh, work is scheduled and people are not available the next day whatever yeah. and there are a lot of people working on on those parts and and, and bringing the um, the What's what's called um, the brains to the project, I yeah. think. So really enthusiastic about the project controls. Let's go uh, further on that a little bit uh, later. Let me uh, introduce my other uh, colleague, uh, Mark Schenk, uh, managing director as well. Mark, welcome. Uh, can you introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Paul, uh, having me on the show as well uh, as your colleague. Um, I'm uh, I have an, uh, a technical uh, uh, education as well, technical degree in uh, computer uh, computer informatics. Um, yeah, I, I started uh, as an old man uh, in, in contradiction to you guys uh, so not exactly. uh, many years ago uh, at, at PrimaNet, al- already more than 20 years at PrimaNet. And I saw the development of project controls from up close. Uh, we started with a, with a representative Prima Vera in the Netherlands uh, in the 80s, uh, providing software tools for a planner. And in that days, uh, there was the focus only on the on the planner, 
uh, who has to deliver a planning, of course, of the, of the complex projects. And what we saw, what I saw in all, over the years, is that it became more and more important that nowadays we even talk to sea level about project management and project controls, and what our profession can contribute to their uh, to their projects and their results. Um, and I think uh, uh, what I expect of this of this uh, of this podcast is that we we can help people getting more and more aware of what project controls is. Um, and um. was it also when you started uh, 24 years ago? Was were people aware of of you need tools, you need education on uh, on the scheduling part, or, or was it more common back then? No, I, th I think project controls is of all uh, uh, all decennia, uh, and uh, even then, uh, and even now, uh, project controls is still not not very clear what it means and what it what it is and what you can uh, you can uh, reach with with uh, doing good project controls mm -hmm. uh, so uh, i think this podcast is is a very good platform to getting more and more people aware of the, of the of the profession yeah well that's a good bridge because uh, when when we were preparing this and and, and chef mentioned that uh, he was really enthusiastic uh, he listens to a lot of podcasts uh, mm -hmm. and not from a professional point of view but also from a uh, uh, leisure point of view uh, we discussed to have more awareness more insights on what project controls is and what project controls can do for you as a as a project manager or a tender manager for example and i think we'll go back uh, or further in detail on that uh, that later but i think with the new platform of a podcast and the really nice contribution we can do with project controls is is something why we all created the podcast and, and i think uh, when when i remember the first conversation you were really enthusiastic about it uh, so we start uh, preparing this podcast and, and and have some professionals who look at it um uh, so i think there's a there's a good uh, good thing to uh, to to uh, to bring uh, um, mark you're saying project controls is not very aware are people more aware of a more um, uh, do they know what project management is, or, or is uh, what's the what's the difference between the awareness in that uh, in that area? Yeah, I think that people, uh, if they talk about project management, they think of a project manager who steers the project, so uh, telling people what they have to do within the project. But most of the times, they are unaware uh, of the of the needed information uh, to to be able to steer the project. So, for example. Uh, if if uh, if we have some delays or if the, if there are risks in the project, what kind of impact does it have on your project? And how can I steer my project up front and not only uh, uh, putting the fire out once there is a problem in your project? Mm -hmm. So project controls is all about analytics, uh, uh, gathering information and and. Um, uh, make sure you make the right analysis of that uh, of that information, and inform other people within the project so that they can take their decisions within the project. And has that been changing uh, uh, since the years, or, or is it still the same insight we need uh, uh, as as ten years ago? Yeah, of course, the basics are the same. So the basics of project controls is the same. You have scope, you have uh, uh, time, you have resource, you have costs, you have risks. Of course, there are new uh, subjects like risk and value and claims and those kind of things are getting more and more important, but the basics are the same. But the technology and, and the, the methodologies behind that are, are developing. And when you talk and about technology, is it, is, it, is it tools, for example? Tools can be, uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, development in tools. For example, you have uh, nowadays a lot of data and based on that data, you can have uh, machine learning, You, you have uh, all kind of business uh, uh, business intelligence, and with these tools, you can make sure that that people uh, every day have the uh, entrance to this information. Uh, real time insights. Real time yeah. insights. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chef. Is that what you hear at your uh, your customers and clients? Yeah, of course, because uh, uh, we are discussing the, the difference between ten or twenty years ago, and I think projects are going faster and faster where we build a house back in the days in in a year we can build a house now in a week if we want to i mean we have prefab we have all these new uh, technology also around uh, construction which enables us to do projects much faster but we also need the the analytics much faster we need to have 
insights continually and 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 I think there's an, uh, a big advantage which we can bring uh, uh, with project controls we we provide them insights we provide them tools we provide them um, um, help on their processes to make sure that they are automated in the right way um, and and yeah I think the need of that is getting uh, bigger and bigger especially on sea level as you mentioned I mean if we speak to our older colleagues that were working back in the days they really get into an into a client through the actual planner which had a need for a tool to do his actual job and nowadays my clients tell me uh, we are doing projects I have a portfolio of 400 million and I need to know which project I should do next and I need to pr- some something to provide me insights why I should choose that project and yeah, is that and industry and specifically as you're saying yeah, houses uh, I hear infrastructure I hear uh, a better chemical yeah, well, what what we saw in the in the past is that we we developed some methodologies or results or solutions within one industry and we brought that into other industries who were a little bit more immature in this area so uh, the cross industries is one of our our, our, our uh, uh, main uh, goals we, we reach Okay, and and how are we talking to planners, schedulers, uh, risk managers, uh, tender engineers? Are there any other people we we really should be having this podcast for? Oh, what what I see more and more within my clients is that we move towards asset managers, corporate real estate managers, and um, of course they have completely different uh, um, 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 job, but. In the end, project controls is more or less the same. We bring the knowledge about project controls. They bring their knowledge about their subject matter. Uh, um, so, so they are the subject matter experts. We are the subject matter yeah, experts I, on project controls. I think it's it's nice to have people where that they uh, people that have booked some results in the area of project controls on the show, telling their co colleagues uh, in other industries or other in the same industry about their results so that uh, in, uh, there is uh, awareness uh, about what we can can do with it. Also the challenges we still face, I think that could be an interesting one too. If more people think about those challenges, we might come up with really smart ideas to the future. Well, I think that's that's a nice thing. Yeah? So this platform is, is really easier. You're talking about technology is improving a lot. Yeah? The podcast is eh? uh, uh, driving in your car, putting on a podcast you can learn from uh, from what somebody has uh, invented or, or experienced in, in earlier projects on early industry. Uh, I think it's a cross industry, cross role uh, uh, project we can uh, we can do to to help each other, and that's that's at the end because uh, it's really hard for me to to believe that project controls isn't a profession because uh, if you're talking about mega project, you're talking about four hundred million uh, big multi million yards, uh, uh, refineries, etc. Um, we should be doing this in a, in a professional way, and there's no education at the moment. Exactly. Yeah. What you see is that many of our clients they have their core business. Um, I, I told a story before about a, a, a food, uh, one of the biggest food uh, uh, companies in the world. But they are doing actually 7 billion in projects each year, building new plants. But they are focused on this plant needs to have uh, 200,000 ice creams a month or 25,000 pizzas. They are not focused on building the actual plant. They hire contractors. and But in the end, they have to have the oversight and the insight in the project. And uh, there's still a world to gain. Mm. In, in but doesn't that contractor have the knowledge or should he have the knowledge? Yeah, but the contractor has his own um, um, things he f- finds important. The owner has a completely different perspective. I mean, I, I, I see the same. The contractor doesn't see it as his core business to do this. He is focused on his core business, and he thinks that project, even project management and and, and more uh, project controls is a subtask and something uh, uh, anybody can do who has a little bit of time left. So it's not seen as a real profession and, and, and it's not taken seriously in, in a lot of companies, even in, in companies who do uh, a lot of uh, money in, in projects. Yeah, okay. So that's it. So we are going to, uh, to help each other to learn from, uh, from the, the lessons learned, from the subject matter experts. Uh, I think from a, uh, from a podcast point of view, uh, we are going to have a live guest uh, from, uh, uh, from uh, week number two. Uh, this is the first podcast from week number two. We are going to have a live guest on the, on the show uh, uh, as 
much as possible. Eh? And, and we yes. are live guests as well, Paul. Yes, you are. Yeah, but you're also a colleague, so this is uh, this is uh, this is what we try to uh, uh, leading the project controls uh, conversation. We have to put uh, put our um, our sweat into it. Um, one of the first guests actually is uh, the CEO of uh, PMI, uh, the Netherlands uh, chapter, uh, Jan Kadol. Um, uh, Jan Kadol has uh, had a, uh, a chapter event here uh, in this uh, in this classroom as well, uh, and uh, and I was talking to him. Can you bring us some insights in uh, what's the difference between project management, eh, because that's what PMI uh, stands for, and our own academy, our own colleague, uh, Stefan Hollack, uh, who is managing Project Controls Academy, eh, which is really focused on the project controls. I think we can have a real good uh, discussion on that, but also I think, Chef, where where you can help from a client perspective is have this real cool mega yacht builder or this real cool real estate uh, uh, company uh, be on the, on the show to well, to talk about the, uh, the project controls uh, he, uh, he has taken into place, he has, he has practiced. Uh, that would be, uh, would be really great. Um, Mark, any other guests we, uh, we should uh, invite or are going to invite from your no, perspective? I think there are, uh, we, can, we can bring, of course, people from our own team. Yes. And we have um, experience, uh, some less experienced people who uh, uh, can tell more about uh, modern technologies and methods. Uh, and they can, they can t- talk uh, with uh, your uh, other guests about, uh, about the, the real content of project controls, about methodologies, about new tools, about uh, all kind of, of, of results we, we, we had with other customers. Yep. So um, even the vendors will be, uh, will be on the show. Vendors, vendors can be on the show, vendors of our tools. We, we, uh, we uh, as PrimaNet, uh, try to, to be rep- representative of the, of the best of breed tools in the, in the market uh, on, on the, in the area of project controls. And, uh, well, of course, uh, our vendors can talk about developments in that area. Yep. Uh, we can also bring some uh, from our own network people who can tell uh, something about uh, the gurus of the, of the, of the, of the, of the subject, yep. subject matter areas. Uh, subject matter experts, we can uh, bring them on the show as well. Yeah, well, and I think also, Chef, we uh, before COVID, we went to a lot of events. I think it's also nice to uh, to cover those events, and we really want to uh, to take the studio to uh, to the events or, or live. Yeah, it's it's bringing our world to our audience. I think that's the idea that bringing the world of project controls to our audience. Uh, I mean. Every event that we have, we, we run into very interesting people that have great experiences, great ideas, um, um, uh, people that are, are um, looking ahead and, and uh, think about new uh, groundbreaking things. And I think it could be really interesting to just put them in front of a mic and, and, and tell, let them tell about their, their ideas. And again, it should... Um, um, it, uh, what's the word? Um, bring... The ideas to our audience and 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 have them let them grow their own thoughts about yeah, it. I, I, I think we we as PrimaNet try to have a platform where we want to uh, like the like the uh, the tagline says leading the conversation. We want to lead the conversation on project controls. Yeah. So anyone and any company or any any colleague who has some contribution to the to the profession project controls, we can have on the show and, and start a discussion about it. It's all about leading the discussion, leading the, 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 the conversation. Exactly. Yeah. I, inspire was the word I was looking for. Uh, we really inspire. want to inspire people to, to have these groundbreaking ideas and inspire them into new thoughts about those, maybe. And, and, and uh, together we can, we can like, yeah. we, are, we just lead the conversation. But the idea in the end is to make our profession evolve. Mm. Well, that conversation needs more uh, needs more than one people, of course. So, uh, so that's why we uh, we need to have uh, we, need, we need to have guests on the show. So, if you uh, if you didn't subscribe already to the podcast uh, channel uh, through Apple or Spotify or whatever uh, app channel you are using, please do so, and the links will be uh, provided on uh, on this uh, page. Uh, I think as a, as a resume, uh, well, tune in on the uh, on the podcast. Uh, we try to have the coolest and the best projects on uh, on this uh, stage, uh, the nicest people uh, who can inspire us and, and make project controls uh, a real profession where everybody can uh, can talk about. Uh, if you have any question, please reach out uh, to us. And uh, if you plan to, uh, to upgrade your project controls inside, don't take a risk and uh, schedule your subscription to the ProCon podcast. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for uh, being on the show, Chef. Thank you as well, thanks, Mark. Paul. And uh, up, to, uh, up to the next one. Yes, thanks for having us. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the ProCon podcast. To listen and watch more episodes, you can subscribe and access the resources mentioned in this episode by visiting proconpodcast.com. 
We look forward to seeing you on our next episode, where we will continue to lead the Project Controls conversation. The Procom podcast and the associated resources is published under copyright to Prima Ned. All rights reserved, no reproduction of this content is permitted.